Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. This is a life hack video or more precisely electronic hack video which means we are going to override a component's basic feature. This is 78 series or 7805 which is a positive 5 volt regulator. I will give you the detailed properties of this regulator chip. We are implementing the hack in this chip. All the bullet marked points in this is valuable, but I had highlighted some which you must have to read. A 7805 will deliver 5 volt regulated output, but in some models the output may vary from 4.8 volt to 5.2 volt. That means 7805 is made by different manufacturers. The output will vary from uh, with respect to the manufacturers. Second point is 7805 can deliver 1 ampere to the load with a normal heatsink but it can deliver up to 1.5 ampere to the load if you are fixing the 7805 in a very big heatsink. 7805 comes with an overload or over current protection but it is not like sensing the current and shutting down. Instead of that, when over current is flowing, then the temperature increases and that heat is sensing and will shut down. In short, a thermal shutdown. Maximum input voltage they have mentioned as 30 volt, but I have given 35 volt and was working perfectly fine with a very good heat sink. In some models, they have mentioned it as the maximum of 25 volt as its input voltage which means if we are giving 30 voltage as its input then we will get 5 voltage output what will happen to the other 25 volt that will dissipate as heat this is a fixed voltage regulator chip and you have this with you now but you need a variable regulated power supply what will you do and you do not have a variable power chip like lm317 or lm350 with you you only have this 7805 with you now here comes the importance of this electronic hack we will implement a hack on this fixed voltage regulator chip and will convert this into a variable power source the output of the chip after implementing the hack is also a perfectly regulated one i will show everything in action for you you will be wondered after watching this video i have already fixed this in a small heat sink this is only for the testing purpose that is why I have used a very small heat sink. First I will give you the pin details of this chip. This is the input pin that means if the printed side is placed towards us then this is the input pin, this is the ground and this is the output pin. That means if we are giving a voltage of 30 volt to the input and ground then we will get a 5 volt from the ground and output and that is a fixed one you cannot change it but the hack will do everything upside down this is a 10k linear variable resistance you can see that it is written as b10k b means linear control and one more thing is called logarithmic control logarithmic control is used for controlling the volume and linear control b type controls are used for uh, in tone controls tone controls means bass and treble controls we don't need any other components other than this variable resistor. You can also make use of 5K. I prefer to use a preset rather than using a, this variable control. Now I have thinned these terminals. I do not have a preset with me. That is why I am using this variable resistance. What we are going to do is to connect one, one, one terminal of this variable resistance to the common point of this chip. I am going to solder this exactly as shown in this video. This is the input terminal, this is the ground, this is the output terminal and one terminal of the 10K preset I have connected to the ground of uh, ground pin of the 7805 fixed voltage regulator now i will connect the wires to the input supply pin violet color wire is going to solder to the a positive input supply uh, pin of the 7805 but the negative supply is common to the input and output so that is why the yellow wire and the orange wire i am shorting together that means the yellow and violet is the input supply and orange and red is the output supply and i am soldering the negative terminal or the ground terminal to the center pin of the linear control
Now we will connect the red wire to the output pin of the 7805 regulator chip. After doing this, the assembling of this circuit is over. I am again telling if you have a 2.2K preset or 5K preset that will be an exact replacement for this uh, uh, variable resistor. Now violet and yellow wires are the input line and red and orange will be the output line. We need to measure the voltage of both input and output. For that we need two voltmeters. I will connect all these things and will come back. This is the voltmeter that I have made in my previous video. I will share the link in the description box. This we will use for measuring the input voltage. These two lines are from my bench power supply. I have fixed the voltage to 14 volt. My bench power supply has the capability of delivering 36 volt. The base voltage is 12 volt 40 ampere and it will be boosted to 36 volt. But we will be using 20 volt for this operation. First we will fix the voltage to 14 and then later we will uh, raise it to 20 volt. We will first check the input. I will switch it on. You can see 14.6 volt we are giving as input. The flickering in the voltmeter that is because of the refresh rate of the module. I am explaining everything about this in my previous video. Kindly watch that thing. For measuring the output, I am using this multimeter. I have connected the props of the multimeter to the output line of the uh, circuit. Now we will connect the input line of the circuit to the bench power supply. The output will be minimum 4.8 to uh, 5.2 volt, something in between. Now I will change the value of the variable resistance. You can see the voltage will be varying. Yeah, it is high, it is going higher. There is some glare in the multimeter display. I will raise the right side a bit high. The minimum voltage we will get from a 7 and 0 5 is 5 volt or 4.8 volt. But if you are using a 7, 8, not 6 volt, then the minimum voltage is 6 volt. If you are using 7, 8, not 9, then the minimum voltage is uh, 9 volt. Uh, similarly, if you are using 7, 8, 1, 2, the minimum voltage is 12 volt. So like that, we can increase or vary the voltage uh, anything beyond, but the minimum voltage is the fixed voltage of that particular fixed voltage regulator. This is the maximum voltage uh, we are getting from this uh, regulator chip. The maximum input voltage is 14.6 volt and we will be getting 13.5 volt as the maximum output regulated voltage. If we are using a 2.2K preset or a 5K preset, it is very simple or smooth to vary the output voltage. But here 10K, what is ha happening is a small change in the resistance is actually creating a large uh, change in the in its output. Now I have fixed the voltage to 12 volt. I have changed the input voltage to 20 volt. Still you can see the output voltage is fixed to 12.4 voltage.
I believe this video was very much useful to you. If yes, then please like this video and also share this to your friends. If you want similar life hack or electronic hack videos, then please comment on this video. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.